Now today is time for a top 10 video on my beloved Sega Master System. Now the Sega Master System is a really cool console. This is actually the first console that plugs into a TV that I ever had. Now I always think a top 10 is really hard to deliver because just like with any console or any topic that you're covering, there's so many options to choose from. Now just remember guys, this is my top 10 based on the Sega Master System games that I've always played. Up in 10th place, is Rainbow Islands, the super fun and colourful arcing throwing rainbow game. Now this game initially drew me in by the cool cartoon stylized graphics and I actually really love the concept of these rainbows as a weapon to throw at the enemies but also the fact that you can walk over them as a bridge it makes it quite a unique platformer that really really I just thought was really cool the first time that I ever saw it. I actually really like the music in this game as well. It's a game that I need to play a lot more of. Now I actually physically own it. Up in ninth place for me, it has to be Gauntlet. For me, this is the original dungeon crawler and I'm really nostalgic for this game because it was actually the first game that I ever played on an Amstrad back in my early 8-bit days. So it means a lot to me because I used to play it a lot growing up. It doesn't look the greatest game, but you can play this multiplayer, jump in, go around the dungeons and try to find the exit. Double Dragon takes it at number 8, the absolute classic, where I've trained and trained and trained on, performed my kicking and punching skills so that I'm absolutely well armed and can absolutely... Oh man. So this is like the original scrolling beat em up game. I had this on the NES Nintendo growing up and it was really one of my favourites. I'm certain I used to be a lot better at the game back then. But I have to say the soundtrack with this on the Sega Master System is absolutely superb. Really, really love it. The game captures and plays really well. And for anyone that hasn't played Double Dragon, I really think you need to get this in your gaming collection. In 7th place is R-Type, back where it all started for the series. Now on the Sega Master System, I think this is a sterling copy of the original R-Type. I think it holds up really well visually, the gameplay, and again the soundtrack as Sega normally does, just really, really captures it well and nails it. So the game is actually really hard. It's a game I'm really actually not as good as I should be at, considering I really like side-scrolling shooters. But this is really cool. I'm really a big fan of our type Although I have to say, it's not my favorite side-scrolling shooting franchise. But on the Sega Master System, this is an absolute must, and I just think it's really great. Streets of Rage in at number six. Now I have to say, for me, I was only really aware of this on the Sega Mega Drive. And I was actually shocked to realize many, many years later that there was a version of Streets of Rage on the Sega Master System. Now I was actually blown away at how great this game looks and plays. And at a glance, you could even maybe think it was on the Sega Mega Drive until you realize this is actually an 8-bit game. This is back where it started, it is an absolute classic. Quite hard, quite challenging, but I love it. In at number five is Bubble Bubble. Now it's a game you probably either love or hate, and this isn't actually a game that I played originally in my early Sega days, but I've really, really come to love the colorful gameplay and the punchy, quirky little soundtrack to go along with it. This for me is just an arcade classic that you can just jump on and play and play and play without the expense of all those arcade quarters that you would have to have thrown in back in the early 80s. Love it or hate it, I really like this game. In at number 4 is Sagaya. Now Sagaya is actually Darius 2. It was renamed for I believe the Japanese version and in many other ports of Darius 2 as well. But this is a fantastic shooter game. Now for me, I actually prefer this a lot more to R-Type. I think the game plays a lot faster 
I really like the different weapons and abilities and I think again the game visually and the soundtrack here on the Sega Master System is incredible and it looks quite a bit ahead of its time there's just something about it it almost like just makes me surprised this was able to run as good as it does on the Sega Master System I highly recommend checking out this side-scrolling shooter Oh, now I think the top three is the hardest part of the top ten. So will your top three favourite games be in my top three? Let's go. Number three, it is of course Shinobi. Nobody's top ten for the system could exclude this game. It is a fantastic arcade action game. I love the way that you can play across, scaling across the different levels. The, the weapons from distant throwing or to up close takedowns is really cool. You've got to think about the way you do it across the platforms to try to pick up and rescue the kids without getting hit. So there's different ways to play around with doing that. And you've got these different bonus stages as well, which clearly I need a little bit more practice on. This is a great game. Number two is Alex Kidd in Shinobi World. Now a lot of people love this version of Alex Kidd, but for me, I love Alex Kidd in Miracle World. This is an absolute genre, console, gaming era defining game. And as much as this music track just really winds up some people, man, this is just absolute nostalgia in a can for me. The amount of years that I played this game, just for the gameplay and the music, it was kind of the first gaming adventure that ever really hooked me. And again, I had this built in on my Sega Master System 2. Back in those early days where you, you couldn't really afford to buy many games. So for me, Alex Kidd here in Miracle World was just a game that kept me going for years. And actually, I never finished the final level. Um, I've tried playing it many times since and always seem to get stuck on the final level. So like considering how hard and a good challenge the game is, by the time you get to the end, you should be pretty good at it. But I really like these boss fights as well with the rock, paper, scissors. The game offers a lot. You really need to check it out. Number one! I love Wonder Boy. It was one of my favorite arcade games. It is just oh, the amount of time that I spent watching people play this arcade game before I was even actually able to play games in the arcade myself. This is a fantastic version on the Sega Master System. It, it looks so good. It, it looks pretty close to the arcade original. Um, there's quite a few differences in the game. I should probably make a separate video on it. But for me, this is my favorite Master System game. I'm a big fan. And anyone that hasn't checked it out, I mean, I highly recommend it. Whoa! Now, before you go crazy, guys, before you go crazy, let me know down in the comments what your favourite Sega Master System games are. Now, what I'm missing from this list, there's a lot that you can choose from. Now, I know some of you are going to say straight away, where's the, where's the classic Disney games? Where's the Sonic games? Well, trust me, guys, I've got them all and I do play them and I do actually really like them as well. I think if I was doing a top 30, you'd get a lot more different games, obviously, in the list. But I think for me, the, some of the classic cartoon, the Disney and the Sonic ones, like they're great games, but they just didn't today make it into my top 10. So what else is missing? Let me know, guys, what would have to definitely feature in your top 10 what should I reconsider? Let me know because it would be great to hear from you. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. We're going to be coming back with a lot more retro games here on Gaslight Games. Yes, mate.